Richmond County voters will have a chance to hear from the Republican candidates running for the Board of Commissioners this weekend. State Representative Ben Moss is hosting a meet and greet barbecue dinner at the Rockingham VFW Post 4203 from 5 to 7 p.m. on Saturday. The event is free and open to the public, especially for veterans. Moss, who was the first Republican elected to that board in more than 100 years, was also the first from the GOP to win a state house seat for the district. There are currently five Republicans on the board, Chairman Jeff Smart, Vice Chairman Justin Dawkins, Tony Maples, Andy Grooms, and Dr. Rick Watkins. Elections Director Connie Kelly said this is the first time she remembers that there has been a Republican primary in the county commissioner's race. Seven Democrats will also face off in a primary. The top four vote getters from each party will advance to the ballot in November. If their signatures are turned in by the date of the primary, two unaffiliated candidates will also be on the ballot in that race, Joe Ward and Brian Stanback. Former Hamlet Councilman Jonathan Bowie was petitioning for a race but dropped out. Moss will also be in a primary race against Moore County Representative Jamie Bowles as the two sitting state representatives were double bunked during the redistricting process. Ending a three-game losing streak, the Richmond Senior Baseball team collected its first SAC win of the season on Tuesday. Needing a win to keep their playoff chances alive, the Raiders defeated fellow 4A conference foe Hope County 11-5. Trailing by a run after four innings, the Raiders put together a productive final three innings to score eight runs to secure the win. Junior pitcher Walker Lambeth earned the win on the mound, tossing six innings against the Bucks. He allowed five runs. Lambeth retired Hope County in order in the fourth and fifth innings, and senior Cameron Way closed the door with a one and two and three bottom of the seventh. Way collected two strikeouts in his relief appearance. The Raiders will play a non-conference game against Pernell Sweat at home on Wednesday. Varsity Action will begin at 7 p.m. A set-piece goal in the closing minutes of the first half proved to be the difference maker for the Richmond Senior Girls soccer team on Tuesday. The Lady Raiders earned their first St. Helens Athletic Conference win of the spring, defeating Hope County 1-0. Junior Sinidra Henson scored a goal in the 34th minute on a corner kick. Taking the kick was Junior Cheyenne Jacobs, who sent the shot across the box to the back post. There to collect the loose ball was Henson, who placed it into the back of the net. It was her second goal in the last three games, and Jacobs was credited with the assist. Head coach Chris Larson said a strong defensive effort, coupled with solid play from freshman goalkeeper Quan Bosick, helped secure the win. Richmond will travel to Union Pines on Friday for another conference match. Varsity play will begin at 7 p.m. When we return, we get your live at 5 weather report is coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. 
We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. And welcome to your IFI Weather Report, Russian County. I hope your day is going well. We haven't seen a whole lot of wet weather today. Uh, it's been mostly a cloudy day for the most part. Very dark clouds, as a matter of fact. Uh, we also got, got lucky yesterday not seeing a whole lot of that rain either. Uh, it's kind of off and on throughout the night. It was a little bit more wet this morning, uh, but as the day got on, uh, dried up pretty nicely and still again not really much rain to go around the day and uh, tonight we'll be continuing to see a lot of cloud coverage for the sand hills region six o'clock 69 degrees 10 o'clock 59 still gonna be looking pretty nice out for the next couple of hours with cloudy skies uh, prevailing sunset will be at 7 33 p.m and a waning gibbous moon phase will be out tonight as well now looking at tomorrow we should be seeing the sunshine return uh, no clouds except for a few will be popping up uh, for tomorrow, Cumberland County a high of 69 and a low of 50. Hope County a high of 68 and a low of 48. Robeson County a high of 68 and a low of 51 with Scotland seeing a high of 67 and a low of 48. Up in Moore County a high of 67 and a low of 47. Here in Richmond County a high of 67 and a low of 47 as well. Down in Marlboro County a high of 67 and a low of 47. And same for Anson County as well. So party wise has all day long. Looking to see some high to mid 60s for the high. Uh, a little bit cool there for the 40s uh, on the low. But looking at the seven day forecast, we'll be seeing some of those temperatures start to fall off again throughout the weekend. Uh, still looking pretty nice without sunshine. Friday, party cloudy skies, a high of 73 and a low of 63. On Saturday, sunny skies as is Sunday. But Saturday, we'll be seeing a high of 69 and a low of 45. Sunday, a few degrees cooler. High of 67, low of 43. As we get into the start of next week's work week, Monday, a high of 64 and a low of 37. Going to be a little bit chillier that day. Start off your day. Party cloudy weather. That will be the case for Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Tuesday is going to be seeing a high of 60 and a low of 38, with Wednesday a high of 68 and a low of 47. And getting back into the 70s on Thursday with a 70% chance of rain. High of 73, low of 55. So that's going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.